Today's khutbah is being delivered under lockdown conditions due to the coronavirus and many of you will be at home listening to this due to this pandemic. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for all of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and protect us and our loved ones and help us get out of this pandemic soon. The COVID-19 virus might come and go, many might fall ill and some might lose their life. May Allah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. Today is our joyous celebration of Eid al-Fitr, to mark the end of the holy month of Ramadan. We mark this day by thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by melodiously chanting our praises to Him. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd. Meaning, Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. There is no God but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is greatest. All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dear brothers and sisters, during Ramadan, we fast it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not for ourselves. We haven't stayed hungry from dawn till dusk just to lose weight and to look slim and healthy. That's only a byproduct of fasting. That's not the purpose of Ramadan. We fast it to show our love and obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to get closer to Him. We fasted not just with our stomachs, but also with our ears, our eyes, our tongue, and heart. We avoided everything that would displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We fasted so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would count us amongst His obedient beloved servants. Fasting has trained us and disciplined us. Now that Ramadan is over, we should have cultivated a heightened sense of taqwa, a cautious, awe-inspiring awareness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this higher spiritual state, it's crucially important that we do not slip back into the bad old habits we had before Ramadan. We have to try hard to prolong this blissful state of nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For one whole month, we control our nafs al-amara, the ego that inclines us toward evil. We learn to tame our low, lower passions. We subdue our attachment to food, drink, and etc. We restrain anger, backbiting, and cleanse ourselves of the diseases of the tongue and diseases of the spiritual part. Just check, is your tongue and action under your control yet? If not, control them before it is too late. We are now as close as we could ever be to what the Quran refers to as Qalb Salim, the pure, sound heart. This is our entrance ticket for Al Jannah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's eternal garden. As the Holy Quran declared in Surah Shura, ayah numbers 88 to 89, the day when no one's wealth or children will benefit them, except those who came to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a sound heart or qalb 
No one in his or her right mind would want to lose this wonderful state of being. That's why our joy and celebration of Eid al-Fitr is also marked with a touch of sadness. Sadness that Ramadan, our beloved friend, the purifier of souls, the much in anticipated annual visitor, is leaving us. We don't know if we'll live another year until the next Ramadan. But in the meantime, let us try really hard to hang on to the good things we've done during this blessed month. Let's continue to cultivate taqwa, to be cautiously Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aware in everything we do. Let's continue to do the good Ramadan things throughout the year. Let's fast the six days of Shawwal. Many of us will follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam example and continue to fast on Mondays and Thursdays every week until next Ramadan, inshallah. It's a very good habit. It won't do us any harm. In fact, it will do us a world of good. In one of these Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that the best of these are small ones repeated often. It's so much better than the grand gesture that we may offer, sometimes just for show, once in a while. Small good actions repeated often grow into good habits, and good habits cultivate good character. A good character produces a sound heart, the Qalbi Salim, that guarantees our place in Jannah. Therefore, my dear sisters and brothers, let's not ever belittle even the smallest good action. Allah takes account and magnifies every good deed. Remember the story in Hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There was a man walking and on his path he found a thorny branch. So he moved it so no one would get hurt. For that real little action, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave him. Never belittle even the smallest good deed. What seems small to us may be very, may be very big to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Maybe one day what small action may open the door for Jannah for us. In Surah Ali, in Surah Ali Imran, verse number one hundred and two, I recited the ayah. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu attaqu Allaha haqqa tuqatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. Meaning, O believers, fear Allah subhanahu wa taala as it's the hope to be fearful of Allah subhanahu wa taala and die not except in a state of believer. Dear brothers and sisters, the question is, how can one be fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So the answer is that firstly, we have to understand this fear isn't fear of fear, but fear in love. And we can show our fear in love by doing all that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us to do, and by abstaining from all that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden. We have to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be thankful to Him, and remember Him always. Brothers and sisters, this is the day of Eid, and we have to remember that many of our brothers and sisters lost their loved ones. And in this day, while we celebrate Eid, we should celebrate our Eid with simplicity and making the law for those who lost their lives. We should look after those who have no job or no food by visiting them and sharing the wealth Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us, regardless of other people's race, color, or religion. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all with health, wealth, and success in dunya and after. Ameen. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi l'hamd. Aqul qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum, wa li sa'il al-muslimin min kulli zambin, fa astaghfiru innahu huwa al-ghafur al-rahim. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi l'hamd. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi l'hamd. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, mi nahmaduhu wa nasta'inu, wa nasta'afiruhu wa nu'minu bihi wa natawakkalu alayhi. Wa na'udhu billahi min shuroori anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina. Man yahdihillahu falamu illa la, wa man yudlilhu falamu illa la. 
ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله وخاتم النبيين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد أن عبد الرحمن بن عوف رضي الله عنهما قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أبو بكر في الجنة وعمر في الجنة وعثمان في الجنة وعلي في الجنة وطلحة في الجنة والزبير في الجنة وعبد الرحمن بن عوف في الجنة وسعد في الجنة وسعيد في الجنة وأبو عبيد من جراح في الجنة رضوان الله تعالى عليهم أجمعين وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فاطمة سيدة النساء أهل الجنة رضي الله عنها والحسن والحسين سيدة شباب أهل الجنة رضي الله عنهما عن عبد الله بن مغفر رضي الله عنهما قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الله الله في أصحابي الله الله في أصحابي لا تتخذهم غرضا بعدي فمن أحبهم فبحبي أحبهم ومن أبغضهم فببغضي أبغضهم ومن آذاهم فقد آذاني ومن آذاني فقد آذى الله ومن آذى الله فيوشك أن يأخذ الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك لنا فيما أعطيت وقنا شر ما قديت فإنك تقضي ولا يقضي عليك إنه لا يدل من واليك ولا يعز من عاديك تباركت ربنا وتعاليك وصلى الله على النبي الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعدكم لعلكم تذكرون أذكروا الله يذكركم ولذكر الله تعالى أعلى وأولى وأعز وأجل وأعلم وأكبر والله يعلم ما تسمعون الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك لنا في ما عافيت وقنا شر ما قضيت فإنك تقضي ولا يقضى عليك إنه لا يدل من عليك ولا يعز من عليك تباركت ربنا وتعالي وصلى الله على النبي اللهم أنت السلام منك السلام تباركت يا ذا الجلال والإكرام رب الحمد ما تبارك بيان صغيرا اللهم أجلنا من النار اللهم فقهنا في الدين اللهم إنا نسألك علما نافعا وعملا متقبلا ورزقا طيبا اللهم تقبل منا صيامنا وقيامنا وركونا وسجودنا وعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا إنك جامع الناس اليوم لا غيب فيه إن الله لا يخلق الميعاد ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار 
all of all the brothers and sisters, family members, community members who have passed away, please bless them with Jannah to Firdaus. Mm -hmm. All of all the brothers and sisters, family members, community members, whoever is sick with the coronavirus or any other disease, please bless them with Shafai upon them. All of all the brothers here, all the brothers watching, please grant everybody with health, wealth, and success in dunya and after us. Amen. Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Azzati Amma Yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Wa alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Al-Fatiha. Thank you.